<sighs> what did Bruce Lee do to deserve Birth of the Dragon? Before I saw the trailer for this movie, I thought to myself, hey, a movie about Bruce Lee. I love Bruce Lee. This could be good. Man, was I wrong. I guess I should have guessed it would be a disappointment based on the fact that there weren't any early critic reviews out. Almost always a bad sign that the studio is not confident about how the movie will perform. The movie runs through the paces with some of the most cliche Hollywood tropes. Birth of the Dragon stars Philip Ng as Bruce Lee. Billy Mann plays Steve McKee, one of Lee's fictional students who arranges for his master to meet and ultimately fight Wong Jack Man, played by Xia Yu. I wish I could say that the movie centers on the story of Bruce Lee, but it doesn't, and just veers in so many directions that I wasn't sure why the title even paid homage to Bruce Lee. It starts out promising with a traditional showcase fight between Wong Jack Man against a Tai Chi master in front of a bunch of Shaolin monks. Wong Jack Man almost kills a man and then travels to America to do some penance for his shameful actions, all the while proclaiming that he is there to just observe martial arts from others. He meets up with one of Bruce Lee's students, Steve McKee, who welcomes him to San Francisco and starts to build a mentoring friendship with. Wong Jack Man finds out Bruce Lee is teaching Kung Fu to Westerners and observes his fighting from a distance. Bruce Lee feels threatened by Wong Jack Man's presence and challenges him to a fight to prove that his modern fighting style is superior to Wong Jack Man's traditional style. Steve McKee acts as an intermediary of sorts to introduce the fighters to each other. The movie then veers off into weird side stories involving human trafficking, a romance story between Steve McKee and a restaurant girl, and the Asian Mafia, which it tried to somehow tie into Bruce Lee's story but ultimately failed at doing so. I got so bored when I realized this movie spent more time developing Billy Magnuson's character than Bruce Lee's that I wasn't even sure if I was watching the right movie for a while. Even the guy in front of me was looking at his cell phone several times during the movie. Can you say bored? The pacing was uneven, the story was uninteresting, and the acting was cringeworthy at times. The fight scenes were generally uninspiring and looked almost too choreographed, to the point that I found myself laughing at one of the slow motion scenes because it was so cheesy and cliche. This movie belongs in one of those made for TV movies rather than the big screen. I usually enjoy biopic films, but I would not count this as a biopic. There was more fiction than fact in this movie. It's more like a loosely based story of a real event with storytelling elements blown way out of proportion. For one thing, Bruce Lee trash talked a lot of the local martial arts schools in Chinatown which made him quite unpopular with the community, and the movie never shows this. What is true is that Bruce Lee was one of the first martial arts teachers to allow Westerners as his pupils, a rare thing at the time. Also, there is quite a bit going on in the background in Oakland during this time, but the movie just focuses on San Francisco. The epic fight we get at the end also gets things wrong. There were about a dozen people who witnessed the fight in the movie, but in actuality, according to author Charles Russo, there were just seven with Bruce Lee's pregnant wife being one of the witnesses, yet we aren't even shown his wife in the movie. Also, Bruce Lee gets put into a headlock in the movie, which never happened in the real-life fight. I give Birth of the Dragon a 40% rating for its weak character development, scattered script, mediocre acting, and cliché story that relies more on brawn than brains. Folks, I would not even put this in the red box rental category. Birth of the Dragon has low user and critical reviews. No surprise there. On opening night, I'm going to guess it will earn somewhere between a C and D cinema score audience rating. Movie loving friends, I value your thoughts. Remember to comment, share, and check out my other videos. If you saw this movie, tell me what you thought. What did you like or dislike about the movie? Let's fill the minutes with Real Minutes. Thanks for watching my review on Real Minutes. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to click like or subscribe.